How is it with you being a bit of a younger guy, being able to relate to the guys in high school that you're trying to get to come to Michigan? Yeah, well, you know, I think everybody has their angle. You know what I mean? Uh, all these coaches on our staff, obviously, have been coaching for a lot longer than me. And, and so they have fostered those relationships in those different places they've been. Me being here, you know, I took over a new area this year. And so just getting, uh, trying to, you know, get those grassroots started in those places. But it's exciting. I love uh, just talking to kids. I love getting to know these coaches around the country and things like that. So I enjoy the recruiting aspect of it. What have you been able to see out of Alan Gant so far? Yeah, he's he's picked it up pretty quick. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's not easy to, to do something and then, you know, change up completely. And he's done a great job of that, you know, moving from that back end. And really, I think it's helped him a lot because a lot of the things that's going on in the secondary, he understands. So, you know, sometimes a kid may say, hey, coach, why are we doing this? Well, if you have experience, you know, playing a different position, especially in the secondary, you kind of are putting more of the pieces of the puzzle together, you know what I mean? So I think that's a big reason why he's picked it up so fast. It's kind of overlooked, but Brennan Byer is also making a transition himself it's from the, the exact end same thing with him, and he, he understands why we want to do certain things up front. And so for me, it, it really helps me out a bunch, and uh, they do a good job of helping each other out. And I can't say enough, man. I got a great room. I mean, all the kids really like each other. They all get along. I mean, they all are for each other. You know, they all want to see each other do really well. And it's not a, a, you know, even though we have great competition in our room and on this defense, on this team, obviously, as you all know, our kids all get along and they like the competition part of it. So it's healthy for a team. Brady said he kind of expects uh, Byer and Gordon to, to rotate in some fashion. Yeah. Do you have in your mind how that might work out, how that breaks down? Yeah, well, you know, hopefully they're, they're both playing their best football come August 31st. But, uh, you know, one of the things uh, Greg you know, really believes in is that, you know, you have to have great depth on the, on, the, on the team, you know, specifically the defense. And so we want to have uh, not only the first unit, but what we call our second first unit. You know, that's kind of how we approach it, where it's not, hey, I'm a backup. I may never get my shot until a guy gets hurt. No, if we can rotate guys and they can go in there and get the job done, we're down, we're fresher, and now we're playing faster football. And, and, you know, I think that just causes more problems for offenses when we're able to do that. So. Could it be situational to play to their individual strengths, or have they kind of rounded themselves yeah. enough so that either one should be able sure. to be there in any sure. given situation? And, and that's coaching, you know, putting kids in the best position where their skills and their talents can, you know, best be shown. And if you have a guy that's better in pass coverage, well, he may be a guy you bring in on those passing situations or if a guy's a better pass rusher. So that's why, uh, you know, as practice goes on, those are the things you're looking for as a coach, you know, and, you know, building packages and things like that for certain players and things like that. That's what you want to do. You want to have your best 11 on the field for every situation. So. Is Jake Ryan still able to kind of gain from the practices, even though he's not able to go through full contact stuff? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the biggest thing when you have a kid that's injured is keeping their head into it. You know, the physical, they're going to do all their rehabilitation and be right there in the thick of things when it comes to that. But um, I think sometimes if a kid's injured, he can lose it mentally, kind of feeling like, you know, left out of it. And I think that uh, that's not the case. I mean, he's in our meetings. I ask him questions. I, I push him. I yell at him, you know, out there on the football field, you know. So I think he's doing a great job. He's really just uh, taking this this whole uh, experience you know, in a positive way. You know, he's not grumping and hanging his head low. He's out there coaching guys up and helping guys. And so he's done a great job. And, you know, I'm looking forward to him getting back. So.